Hey Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading for February 2021. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. Uh, we're going to get some general messages for you guys for the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, or your rising sign. Um, as well, I did post a pick a card for February. So you can check that out as well. And... Yeah, I also posted a singles one, uh, which is timeless. So if you are single and you want to check that out, feel free. But let's see where we go for you guys. February 2021 for Virgo. Let's see. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoy these messages. It would be greatly appreciated. All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What do we have for you? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, your situation is the Knight of Swords. Um, the energy that's crossing it is the Three of Swords. Um, what's on your subconscious is the Ten of Cups. The past is the Emperor. What's on your mind is the Three of Wands. Um, your near future energy is the page of pentacles you in this situation is the eight of wands the energy that surrounds you is the tower uh, your hopes and fears is the five of pentacles and your outcome is the king of wands bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles okay interesting energy to start off the reading with the current situation What else does Virgo need to know? Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. We've got two. We have be brave and honest with the knight and she wolf unleash the wild within. So this is kind of like being your true self, but also standing up for yourself. And we have great teacher learn from spiritual experiences. I feel like you're learning from a situation right now. Uh, your current energy. So underlying, we have the king of pentacles, which I actually think is you. Um, I feel like you're very strong at this time. You're very much in your power with the strength card here. Um, yeah, I feel like you're just you're feeling very confident. Now I feel like it's interesting because your current situation with the Knight of Swords crossed by the Three of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody says something that hurts somebody else. There was a little bit of an impulsive action and almost like aggressive um, communication with another person that I feel leads to this Three of Swords. Your subconscious energy is the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're wanting happiness. You're kind of like, you're definitely looking out towards the future, your future energies. I feel like you're looking for something new in general. Um, I feel like you're trying to focus, like this is kind of what's on your mind and what you're thinking about kind of when no one else is around. Your past energy, we have the Emperor. So this could be a past relationship possibly with a masculine. Could also be you, depending. We'll kind of, we'll clarify to see. What's on your mind is the Three of Wands. So this is you looking out towards your future. You're kind of like trying to figure out where are you going next? What's, what's next in life? It's kind of like a little bit of a contemplation type of an energy. Near future, we had have the Page of Pentacles, so you could be learning something new, doing something new. There could be a new offer coming in towards you. We'll kind of clarify that. 
Um, you in this situation, we have the Eight of Wands, so you're moving forward. You could be communicating something as well. So we'll kind of see. The energy surrounds you though is the tower, which is interesting. So something could be, um, something around you surprising or shocking could be happening. Um, I, feel, I feel like I wanna say it could be avoidable because it is in your surrounding energy. So depending on how things kind of play out and what you allow to happen, then maybe this what might not happen, this tower moment. Your hopes and your fears, we have the five of pentacles. Um, I feel like it's a fear and I feel like it's a fear of abandonment, a feel of being left out in the cold, a feel of rejection, a fear of not being accepted, that sort of thing. But in your outcome, we have the King of Wands. So this could be a person. Definitely could be a person coming in here. Could have something to do with this Page of Pentacles as well. So let's see. What have we got for Virgo? We're going to clarify. All right, Knight of Swords. What is this Knight of Swords in the current situation for Virgo? Like, I almost feel like there was an argument. Clarify this Knight of Swords, please. Two of Wands. Three of Wands, interesting. Eight of Pentacles, the Sun. So I wanna say that this person kinda came out of nowhere. I don't know who this person is. Um, I feel like there's been some distance between you and this person. I feel like you two probably haven't been communicating and this person just kind of came out of nowhere and gave you a piece of their mind. Like, I feel like somebody just like kind of lost it on you for so, for no reason. Uh, I don't really know. Again, I don't know who this person is, but I feel like, I feel like you were just busy doing your own thing. Like, I don't really know why this person came at you. Um, I feel like you were busy doing your own thing. Um, it's interesting because the bottom of the deck is the Sun card with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot. Now the other th the other option or the other storyline that I'm kind of getting is that um, I feel like the way this person came in was pop probably a little bit aggressive, but I also feel like you maybe got some clarity as to why this person left because I feel like this person has left you before in the past. I feel like that's what has caused this heartache with that three of swords there. Um, so this definitely is a person who hurt you or, you know, has caused some pain in your life. So let's see, what is this three of swords here crossing this? What is this three of swords crossing this energy here for, for Virgo? Queen of Cups. The Hierophant. Ace of Wands. Okay. Some of you learned something about a situation that hurt you. You learned something new. Uh, some of you, there could have been a third party. So somebody might have went outside this connection in some aspect. Um, and I feel like, like, again, like somebody got ghosted here. Somebody got left behind. And I feel like that's what hurt. And I feel like 
I feel like it was you and I feel like your heart was broken and I feel like you're wanting to go find something new, but that's also what's blocking the heart. The heartache is what's blocking you, if that makes any sense. So it's like you're needing to kind of heal. And I feel like you, I feel like you, if anything, learned that this person went outside the relationship and pursued something new. Let's see what this Ten of Cups is. What is this Ten of Cups and the subconscious energy for Virgo? King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Strength. With the moon here. You've waited a long time for this Ten of Cups. Um, and I think that that's, it's the strength of like holding out for that that is kind of your focus. Like you are determined to get this Ten of Cups and you are willing to wait for it. Um, and I feel like it's something deep within you. Like you kind of keep it very hidden. It's like maybe too, you might pretend you don't want it, but you do. Um, and it might be something that people don't really know about you. Like it's like a softer side, you know? Who is this emperor in the recent past? Nine of cups, ace of cups. Okay, so you got some sort of offer from this person. I feel like they were like a dream come true. Tell me more about this emperor. Eight of Swords and the Death. Hmm. Something ended between with this person. But like, I don't really know why. I don't even know if you know why. I feel like there was a, a commitment between the two of you with the Empress and the Justice card here. You were definitely committed. Um... There could have also been a divorce or something. There could have been a divorce where there's like a lawyer involved. Yeah, something weird like that. So some of you could have been married in the past. And again, it's like somebody went outside your relationship. You're still trying to get over that. I feel like this person almost like rushes back into your life as you're kind of like looking forward to the future. I feel like this kept you very stuck for a long time, but I feel like it's it finally is over. Like whatever in the past, I feel like it's completed itself. Yeah, Six of Swords, you're able to move on from this. So let's see what this Three of Wands is, because I feel like you're looking out into the future. What is this Three of Wands for Virgo? What is this three of wands? Okay, so we have the hermit, which is you as well. Hermit, five of swords, three of cups, seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like this situation, whatever happened, um, I feel like it definitely hurt you. Um, I definitely feel like there could have been other people involved in your situation and I think you're kind of you're starting to move on from that with that five of swords you're starting to leave that in the past and move forward and with the hermit card you're really doing a lot of introspection on kind of what makes you happy where do you want to go and I feel like with the three of wands you're also looking out into the future of like what is going to be um what is going to move you forward where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Who do I want to be? It's like now you have the opportunity to be whoever it is that you want to be. With that, unleash the wild within. So what is this page of pentacles in the near future? Page of pentacles in the near future. Okay, so we might have a new relationship coming in person could be a little bit younger than you 
but I feel like this person definitely wants to get to know you with the page of cups they do want to get to know you there could be a lot of like flirting involved it could definitely move forward into something new um, I just feel like it's like you're kind of just almost like dating is kind of what kind of what I want to say there's a new person though for sure what is this eight of wands for Virgo what is this eight of wands for their energy we have the two of pentacles tell me more so some of you are like looking at your options trying to decide on an option as well it is hard with the five of cups so there is a little bit of like in your energy this still this past energy that's like lingering um, you still think about it from time to time it definitely makes you upset um, but I do see you moving forward and beyond it. I feel like you br you're going to be bringing more balance into your life. Uh, let me see. There we go. Sorry, my phone was dying. <laughs> um, so let's see what this tower is, because this tower could get interesting. What is this tower and the energy around Virgo? What is this energy for the tower? We have the Magician, Temperance in Reverse, Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles, whoa. So my first, because the Page of Pentacles is at the bottom here, it's almost like somebody finds out about this this new situation that you're in and they're not happy about it and if it, I feel like it could be your past person they don't want you to move on they don't want you to they don't want you to give to other people now on the other side of it too is there's this person there's something unstable here Again, somebody could be trying to, like with the magician here, somebody could be trying to manipulate this situation, um, which makes it unstable. I don't feel like it's the person that you're in, that you meet. I feel like it's something to do with this past energy because we have the three of swords here with the six of pentacles and the two of swords. It's like this person doesn't want you to give to other people. This person doesn't want you to share your energy with other people or, or give your time to other people. Uh, they're a little bit selfish, I feel like, this past person that is, like, wanting to hold on to you. But I don't think the universe is going to let them do that. It, it's like this person is meant to come into your life. I think it kind of, like, shakes things up for you. Yeah, it's like there's some sort of like, somebody like loses their temper is almost what I want to say. Yeah, like some, this relationship from the past keeps popping up here. So what is this five of pentacles here? It's like they keep trying to get in your energy. What is this five of pentacles here? So you're the queen of pentacles in reverse. Clarify this five of pentacles in the hopes and fears for Virgo. The devil. Interesting. Uh, lovers came out and then we have the empress. Um, I think a fear a little bit is, is like losing people uh, or people leaving you. And also like it's like um, it creates like a lack of self-confidence here with the queen of pentacles in reverse not trusting a situation, not feeling good about a situation and about yourself. And I think it almost puts you into the shadow aspect of the Queen of Pentacles, um, where kind of what I want to say is that the, it creates, because you have this fear of this like abandonment, it creates a codependency, right? Because we're always afraid that people are going to leave us or, or move away from us. And so we do whatever we can to keep them. And we do it and it's not, it doesn't necessarily serve our higher good. It's just something that we 
we try to do to keep people in our lives. And so I think for you, um, it kind of creates, like, you hope to have the lovers, right? That healthy boundary relationship, but instead you get the devil because of the codependency issues, right? Of that, like, trying to hold on to someone or something. So just be cautious of that, um, because I feel like because that comes up in your fear, that's, it creates that codependency where your hope is the lovers. Your hope is a good, balanced, solid relationship, but instead you end up with a codependent relationship, or you could end up with a codependent relationship because um, you're worried that someone's going to leave you. So let's see what this King of Wands is. What is this King of Wands and the outcome for Virgo? This damn emperor. Okay, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Um, this emperor, I think secrets come out about this person and it ends things for good. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands, the Moon, the Emperor, and the High Priestess in reverse. I think some secrets come out, some revelation comes out about this situation, and it ends things for good. So I I don't see this past, I see them trying to come back around and try to like, but I just, I don't really necessarily see it working out with that person. I see you wanting to move on. I see you actually meeting somebody new. Not that that necessarily leads to anything super committed. It definitely could with the Two of Cups. But if anything, I think it's just like you getting yourself back out there. We have Soul on Fire for your Sacred Creator Oracle. Number 38, which breaks down to an 11. So a divine number. Um, I'm going to read from the book. This book is um, kind of more for like creators and entrepreneurs, that sort of thing. But it, they have really good messages and I will convert it into a relationship message because I do feel like this is more relationship based. But I do feel like this is like you releasing who you really are. This is like you reigniting your soul, um, getting back out there in the world the way that you used to be or the way that you were meant to be so it came out in the upright so you get the regular meaning <laughs> so we have passion laser-like focus on your goal infectious enthusiasm success on the way finding what lights you up um and so the message says fearlessly pursue what sets your soul ablaze soul on fire is an exhilarating state it's impulsive it's catchy it's the one it is the one tunnel vision option that lies ahead of you that absolutely you cannot stop thinking about. It's passionately obsessive and thrilling, and it's always filled with warm spirals of escalating energy. What do you see when you look at your tomorrow? Does, re does it reverberate excitement? Is there fire energy there? If there isn't, you may be running after empty substitutes for your dreams, and it's time to find the true zest for your journey. When you make the decision to expand your life this way, the shift can happen quickly. Soul ab souls ablaze are magnetic and have a way of making huge change is changes in short spurts. Let me just get to the next page. Um, extraordinary experiences are built from within ordinary everyday lives. You have everything you need to find this spark of fascination in your journey. So your questions are, how can you expand your current reality so that it can be big enough to house your dream? Cut through the nonsense and the mad babble you've been using to market or describe yourself. Stop trying to dazzle with expert, expert lingo or fancy systems. Drop the facade. Sell them passion, your fire, your dream. If you could be more infectious in, um, enthusiasm, if you could bring more infectious enthusiasm to your goal and talk about it from a place of pure passion, what would you say? So again, I feel like this is you finding your spark again. It's finding you and who you truly are. And if you really want this Ten of Cups energy, this happy relationship, I think that that's what you're pursuing. It's like not stopping until you get what it is that you really want um, and not hiding yourself and who you really are just to get that because at the end of the day, that won't make you happy either. 
So I feel like it's like going out and finding your passion again, finding and finding a, a, a person or a relationship that ignites spark within you, right? There's spark in the relationship. There's fun in the relationship. It's, in, it's enjoying to be around. It's not all this other BS stuff that comes along with it, right? Like not that you won't be, get in arguments and that sort of thing, but it's finding somebody who you enjoy spending your time with, right? Because I don't really feel like this past person is somebody who you enjoy being around. <laughs> so um, that is what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if it did um, or if it does. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I will be posting obviously more stuff this week. So keep an eye out for all of that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy the messages and I will see you in the next video. Bye.